Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I received is somebody betrayed you. The scripture comes from Ezekiel 14, 17 through 20. Or if I bring a sword against that country and say, let the sword pass throughout the land and I kill his people and their animals. As surely as I live, declares the sovereign Lord, even if those three men were in it, they could not save their own sons or daughters. They alone would be saved. Or if I send a plague into that land and pour out my wrath on it through bloodshed, killing its people and their animals. As surely as I live, declares the sovereign Lord, even if Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, they could save neither son nor daughter. They would save only themselves by their righteousness. So God is saying, um, somebody has been betrayed. And um, just by the scripture, I feel like you have been betrayed by somebody close to you, somebody that's family, somebody that you love, somebody that you cherish, somebody that you care about. God is saying that you have been righteous, okay? Just like he said, they will save only themselves by their righteousness. You have been righteousness, you have been upright, and therefore you can be saved. You will be saved from the wrath. The wrath not going to touch you. God said you can be literally sitting there in the midst, and all, all hell breaking loose. Everything on fire, everything underwater, everything going wrong, everything, the alarms going off. God said you will be just fine, but he will put his foot on everybody. That has something to do with you being betrayed. And you cannot save them. Like this is a situation where you are actually trying to help them. You're trying to help them. You're trying to do what you can do. To pull them out of the wrath of God. God said you can't save them. You cannot save them. He, the decision is what it is. God said they betrayed you. In reality, um, you shouldn't even be trying to help them. But you're so upright. You love God so much. You love God's laws and you try to you follow his laws to the fullest extent. So you're trying to help people. And God is saying these people do not need to be helped because they betrayed you. These are people that hurt you. People that did you wrong. And um, this is not a situation, you know, you know what they did. God has given you the knowing of what they did to betray you. And God is saying that. As his wrath comes upon them, you can try as much as you want to because he knows you're going to try. This is somebody you're going to try. You're going to try to help them. You're going to try to save them. You're going to try to pull them away from God's wrath. And God is saying that um, you're not going to be able to save them. The only person you can save is yourself. And you are not saving yourself deliberately. You are being saved because of your righteousness. So, you know, if it's a situation where um, regardless if it's uh, people getting sick, people being um, going through different things, just having different problems going on in their life. And, you know, it's going on around you and everything for you is good. Everything for you is OK. And you're trying to help people. God said he is not going to allow you to save them from this. None of your um, as much as you try to help. As much as you may try to assist, as much as you may try to do whatever it is that you try to do, God is not going to, um, God is not, he said he's not going to deliver them. He's delivering you because of your righteousness, because you have done right in his eyes. You are the one that has done right in his eyes. You are the one that has been faithful. You are the one that has been living upright and they have not. Okay, in reality, they betrayed you. In reality, they hurt you. In reality, they did you wrong. And God is saying that because of that, he, he is seeking um, judgment upon them. And that's the message, okay? God said that he's seeking judgment upon them. And there's nothing you can do about it. You cannot stop it, okay? As much as you care, as much as you love them, as much as you would like to, you cannot stop it. You might as well do whatever God told you to do or carry on, you know, and I just feel like for whomever this is for, it's going to make you feel bad because God is going to be blessing you in the midst of other people's turmoil. But, okay, that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.